Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing another video in which we talk about runway makeup looks. This time we're focusing on the makeup looks that were gracing the runway of London Fashion Week for Spring Summer 2020. You guys know that I love doing these videos and I actually did a video just like this last week in which I talked about the makeup looks from the New York Fashion Week and I also have like a whole bunch of Fashion Week related videos coming out every single time there is a fashion week so I'll put the playlist in the cards if you haven't checked those videos out already but this is always such a fun kind of video for me to do because it's a great opportunity for us to sit down and just like look at makeup looks together and talk about where things are going talk about artistry and I just really like to pick out really fun and interesting makeup looks to discuss with you guys as usual I will be listing all of my sources for photos quotes information everything and down below in the description box so if you want to learn more about any one of these shows or makeup looks check the description box down below and you'll find all that information there but without further ado let's just get right on into it the first show that I want to talk about is Halpern and this show was done by Ismaya French she was a makeup artist and you guys know how much I love love her work like all of her looks whenever she does runway are so cool and so interesting and even her editorials are to die for i love following her instagram account the entire aesthetic of the show was very sparkly very sequiny kind of disco era-esque and the makeup for the show ended up being like this really strong kind of eye look with black holographic sequins and i actually really do like how the makeup look is so edgy and yet the color palette of the clothes seems to really contradict that almost but in a sense these two entities come together to really create some striking and quite memorable images and I really liked the addition of glitter and you guys know how much I love glitter it's so fun for me and there's actually a quote that I found from Ismaya French and she says this is a graphic black eye with a retro spin and a much more glamorous way to do glitter Moving on, I really want to talk about House of Holland. Now, the makeup artist for House of Holland was Dominic Skinner, and I will say that I love glitter, yes, but I also really do love color. So yes, this is personal bias, but I really found myself drawn to these looks, specifically because of like the really vibrant use of color and glitter mixed in together. The glitter that was used was either purple, lime green, or lilac, and according to Dominic Skinner, the glitter look was supposed to mimic glitter that has been lived in and loved in. Apparently, the entire vibe of the show was supposed to be 90s rave mixing in with 70s disco. So again, we have that disco theme, and that's actually going to be prevalent throughout this entire video. You see a lot of makeup artists and designers going for that like 70s disco theme which of course I'm in love with and we actually saw a lot of that last week as well in New York Fashion Week's video. Here's another quote from Dominic Skinner. It's Coachella, but also Burning Man. It's festival-esque, easy, lived in, and loved in. It's blown out, loose, and free. And ultimately, it's very David Bowie. The next designer was Marques Almeida. I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing that right. I looked it up, but I still don't think I have a handle on it. But anyway, the makeup artist for this show was Terry Barber. They actually had two very distinct looks for this show. The first look was very colorful, definitely a little bit monochromatic, but very impactful as well. This is a quote from Terry Barber. For the shape, we took inspiration from 50s sunglasses. We wanted to experiment with different ways of shaping the eyes instead of the classic eyeliner in the socket look. This is a rounded graphic take on a feline eye. I've been loving neon. It's definitely a fun way to do color. And again, we have have that very minimal take on colorful makeup which is actually something that we've been seeing for quite a bit when it comes to runway makeup you see more and more makeup artists and designers really look to create really um, I would say extreme looks but with a little bit of a minimalistic nature attached to it so these looks definitely are very dramatic by the same time they're not necessarily weighted they're almost effortless in the way that they're done if that makes any sense I really like this look specifically 
specifically because of that like really yellowish neon shade that was on the model's lids. And then the next look is decidedly a little bit more classic, dare I say a little bit more grungy. For this makeup look specifically, they picked certain colors from the collection and they decided to coordinate those colors with makeup. Think 70s bathroom suites. It's a sick peach, a hay fever peach, a peach that says I've been to a rave all night long. I will say this, I kind of like the other look better because of like just how bright and colorful it is. You guys know how much I love color and I will say that the first look from this show was definitely my favorite because of that neon yellow kind of-esque take on a look um and yes i am wearing very neutral makeup today which actually surprises even me because i was going for like a gold look and it ended up looking a little bit neutral i know i'm veering off topic but i don't know i'm kind of experimenting with like neutral er looks but of course with like a dash of like glitter and just a bright lip i don't even know what i'm saying anymore but anyway moving on to the next show we're talking about paula nor and the makeup artist for the show was lottie and what's interesting in this show is that they really went for that watercolor theme uh watercolor makeup is a really i would say kind of under the radar trend but not really anyway it's a trend that's been gaining a lot of momentum recently watercolor makeup is the concept of basically taking like the watercolor effect and applying it in a makeup way to the face. It's a great way for makeup artists to integrate different kinds of colors into one makeup look without it being a little bit too, I'd say, structured. So it's definitely an interesting take on makeup. For this show, pinks, purples, peaches, and oranges were applied all around the eye area and just blended out into the rest of the face. I did find a quote from Lottie which really explains how she went about creating this effect and she says basically you lay down your first color by patting it onto the outer corners and then really blending the edges past the outer corners and up to the brows so you do all the, those tones first and then using a separate brush you press your second color onto the lids and you and then you blend it into the first color you applied so whatever is left on the brush kind of blends into the other shade it's a lot of blending so that it looks really seamless and there's also gloss on the lids as well and Lottie says there are tiny sequins on the clothes that almost make them look wet from the runway so that's why we're doing the gloss over the eye and the cheek to tie it all together to finish off the look they also applied a layer of blush on the cheeks as well moving forward we're going to talk about Mattie Bowen and the makeup artists for this show were Miranda Joyce and Dominic Skinner now what really drew me to this look was just how like edgy and how futuristic it seemed you have like that juxtaposition of black and silver. Miranda Joyce says that the look was supposed to be graphic and futuristic but not too beautiful. From what I can gather the look was supposed to be very graphic, very edgy, and it wasn't supposed to be as beautiful as it was supposed to be impactful. But nevertheless I really like this like avant-garde editorial approach to makeup and I know I say that a lot but that's really what draws me to these types of looks. I find that those types of looks are really fascinating to me and you guys know how much I love love silver and I can definitely see myself replicating this look maybe not with the eyeliner on the lower lash line because that's really not my style but imagine doing like a really like dramatic wing and then like a really strong silver in the inner corner that's kind of that's kind of a good look I kind of like that idea but if you like silver shadow and you're kind of inspired by this look I actually did a video a while ago but I still think that it holds up on silver eyeshadow and I basically broke down the best and worst silver shadows in my collection and I put that all into a video and that video will be in the cards if you're if you haven't checked it out already now moving on let's talk about Osmond now the makeup artist for Osmond was Neil Young and what's really interesting about this particular makeup look is that it was actually inspired by sorbet so they basically used a whole bunch of different colors that you would find associated with sorbet and they created a makeup look using those colors once again you have the makeup artist picking tones that were present in the clothing collection and finding a way to integrate them into the makeup looks this is a quote from Neil Young the collection is so beautiful and feminine and there were so many colors and textures I felt why not echo that in the makeup it's definitely a lot more minimal 
than most other looks that we've seen so far. They definitely focused on the cheeks and the eyes and the rest of the face and even the lips were decidedly minimal. So it's a nice take on colorful makeup but it's definitely more digestible, more minimal and a little bit I would say more easygoing than like the typical structured bing bang boom colorful makeup look. Next up, let's talk about Mark Fast. The makeup artist for this show was Pablo Rodriguez, and the entire kind of aesthetic of this look was very neon, and you guys know, again, how much I've been loving neon. But Pablo Rodriguez, the makeup artist, really wanted to create two very distinct looks for the show. The first look was supposed to be pink and purple inspired, and then the second look was supposed to be like this slime green neon, neon green kind of aesthetic. The makeup artist Pablo Rodriguez created two distinct looks for this show. The first was created using pink and purple eyeshadows, and then the second was created using like really vivid, almost slime green looking tones. This is a quote from Pablo Rodriguez. This look takes its cue from the 80s, and there's a lot going on. I washed an acid green eyeshadow from the upcoming Electro Tartan eyeshadow palette, from Illamasqua by the way, across the entire eyelid almost up to the hairline. Then I loaded a darker green in the inner corner and underneath the lash line, applied white eyeliner in the waterline, and finished off with black mascara. This look was definitely focused mostly on the eyes. The brows look a little bit done, a little bit perfected. The cheeks definitely look like they have a little bit of blush on, and the rest of the skin looks relatively perfected. It's definitely not a minimal look. This video makes me really want to dip into some neon colors. I am so so inspired and all right so that is the end of this video those are all the makeup looks that I want to touch on for London Fashion Week again if you haven't checked out my New York Fashion Week video that uh, is a video that I released last week and it will be in the cards if you are interested in viewing it additionally I do have my runway makeup looks playlist which is also in the cards and if you're watching this video and you are really interested in seeing more runway makeup looks do know that I will be publishing my Milan Fashion Week video sometime in the next week. But if you're interested in seeing that video, definitely subscribe. It will be live soon and I cannot wait to share those looks with you guys. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I hope you found it entertaining and I hope you found some inspiration from it as well. And I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.